Okay, so I have a Konica Minolta BizHub 363. And the problem I've been having with this is that the scanner gets disconnected from the computer. So uh, it still prints and it still copies. And I've been on the internet and looked at a number of places trying to find an easy fix to this problem. And uh, I finally figured it out. The, uh, the problem is with this is that periodically the computer will change the IP address to itself. So uh, the copier may maintain the old IP address and the computer has a new IP address. So basically they're not communicating with each other. So uh, what we need to do is just make sure that we have it on the same IP address and uh, that way they can communicate. Now that whole process, if you're not a computer person, uh, sounds difficult, but it's really not. Uh, I'm actually an insurance person and I don't do uh, copiers. So, but I found a quick and easy fix for this uh, problem and I'll show you how to do it. And basically I'll just walk you through step by step. So remember, if you like this video to hit the like and subscribe button, uh, it is a real easy fix. And what I'll do is I'll just go through step by step and you should be able to fix your computer too. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is you want to determine the copier's IP address. So that way we can access the copier from the PC. So the way to do this is just to hit the utility counter here and uh, go to administrator settings. And these copiers, normally the password is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And once you're in here, you just go to network settings right there and then the TCP IP address settings right there. So what you wanna do is look for this top, uh, this top little icon here, it says uh, IPv4 settings. And you'll note this IP address, 192.168.68.210 for this one. So this is the IP address for the copier. So just write this number down and that's really all you gotta do here. So uh, just tell it okay. And okay, we'll just get back out of there. And that's all we got to do. Now, from here, what we'll do is we're going to go to uh, the computer and uh, look at the uh, uh, look at the look at the copier from the PC. So let me show you how to do that. Okay. So what you'll want to do here is you'll want to uh, open up your uh, browser and then type in the IP address for your uh, copier, which is 192 in this case, .168. .68.210. And what this will do is this now accesses the copier from your PC. So you can actually see that because it's up on the network. So here you're going to go in as the administrator. So log in and your password is going to be the same as your copier. In most cases, it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Of course, some people change them, but normally they're one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, then you hit the OK button here and it will access your boxes here. This little icon here, this little orange one, this shows the FTP, which is the file transfer transfer pro protocol, which is the uh, scanning part of your computer. So if you have a scan folder already set up and it's just disconnecting, that's this is what the problem is. So uh, when you look at this FTP right here, uh, this is one, what we're going to do is we're going to edit. Okay. And as you can see here, this is the host address here, which says 192.168.68.7. All right. This number was probably changed and that's why you're having the problem. So, uh, just leave this box open. Okay. So what you're going to want to do is you want to go down to this box right here and just type in CMD, which stands for command prompt right here. And then when you get in here, uh, what you want to do is type in IP config. And this will pull up this box right here. And the number that we're looking for is this right here where it says IPv4 address. And in this case, it's 192.168.68.100. So on here, uh, this is the IP address that the copier is looking for. Okay. So what we want to do is write this number down, 192.168.68.100. And uh, you'll put this in this box right here. There we go, 192.168.68.100. Uh, 
uh, .68.100, tell it OK. And now it's exporting. So now what it's doing is it's telling the computer and the copier that they're going to communicate with each other. You just tell it OK here and log out. And that's all there really is to it. The computer, the printer just beeped and said it accepted the changes. So from here, you should be able to scan and uh, just like you normally would. So if you're being disconnected from the computer and the, and the copier, it's an easy fix. So just a couple of steps and you'll be done. So uh, remember to like this video and subscribe too if you want. Uh, I hope this helps you out and have a great day. Thank you.